Hey, good morning, Thursday. Hello, friends. I am popping in here. I'm not really sure how long or how this might blather, but I'm feeling a lot of feels today. And it kind of started with a podcast I was listening to and a gentleman that was sharing how one event in his life was the catalyst that changed everything about his life. And at the time, he didn't necessarily know that that one, that one event was going to bring about such dramatic change and a huge ripple into the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. And I was thinking about there are times in our life where an event will happen and it will change us forever. And the same event could happen to someone else and they might not have that experience. And oftentimes I hear people will say to me, yeah, I'm just not as passionate as you are about, about this health journey. And I think about what, what has made me so passionate about this journey. And there's so many emotions that are attached to it. So I'm going to try to organize my thoughts around it, but... One of those moments was this. I, uh, I shared this picture of myself back in November of 2015. I was down 32 pounds and I felt, I felt so accomplished. I felt so good. I felt so confident in myself. I, I didn't really think I could ever feel that good again. That was seven years ago in November that I shared this post on Facebook and literally hundreds of you commented and liked and celebrated that day with me. And that day was a catalyst that got me started on the journey to helping other people because so many people reached out and said, what are you doing? How did you do that? And I wasn't doing anything, anything special. I was working with my coach and she was telling me what to do and I was doing the thing. I was eating the food and drinking the water and the weight was coming off and, and I was coming alive. That post was never meant to go on my public Facebook wall. This picture was never supposed to be seen by anybody but our private little group. <laughs> and I accidentally posted it in the wrong spot. And I'm going to say that was a divine accident that led me on a different trajectory of using what was really painful for me in my own health and where I had gotten to actually seeing that in other people and realizing that I hold a gift in my hand. That gift to give somebody else the opportunity to feel that good. Every day we have an opportunity to make people feel good on the inside and the outside and they become congruent and they feel good about themselves and their life. And I'm learning that every step I take in the direction of where I want to go is a vote in the direction of where I want to go. And it builds that integrity within. And just hearing that gentleman this morning got me thinking about so many of the decisions that, that I've made along this journey and, and I am healing through a lot of the things. And the other part of that, it's a combination piece because seven years ago, I remember that joy. I can't forget that joy. 
I also can't forget the day before I started my journey and how desperate I was to feel good and how skeptical I was that I would ever feel that. How defeated I felt in my life and how I should know how to do these things, right? I, this, I'm an intelligent woman. Uh, I should know how to do this, but yet I, I couldn't do it on my own. I kept trying and falling on my butt. And then, and then I found somebody who had been successful and I tapped her shoulder intentionally because of four years ago, she lost the weight. And I tapped on her success. I said, I know how to lose the weight. I haven't figured out how to keep it off. And apparently you hold that key. Can you show me? And I started this journey with a lot of disbelief that I could, a hope. And there's so much emotion attached to that because that journey seven years ago, this picture seven years ago, opened up a brand new door, a fresh beginning and an opportunity for me to help other people. But it's been in the helping other people that I've actually been healing, that I've actually becoming more and more congruent. And I, I say becoming because I don't think I will ever get where I wanna go. Like, it, I think I'll keep evolving and changing the goalpost because I'm learning that when you're growing, you're glowing. <laughs> And I have found and discovered alive is in sharing the beauty of the hard seasons in our life and using them to bless another people, another person and their journey. I'm celebrating health on a whole different level today, seven years later, because it's been a continual journey of evolving and growing and becoming. The relationships that have come my way through coaching, the people's lives that you get pretty intimately connected to. You get, I get very attached to my clients' goals. They become mine. And the depth and the relationships that come have just really blessed me more than getting to my own healthy weight. That was fun. <laughs> From this day, I went on to lose another 12 pounds. I got down to 45, but this day, this day, this post is accidental, wrong place. Changed my life. And because of it, hundreds of you's lives. We do not know the power of a one decision, my decision to get healthy, my decision to share with one or two other people, has grown me into accepting that I want and I desire and I'm obsessed with growing and becoming the best version of myself for myself, 
but for the people that are having breakthrough. There's a lot of you right now that I'm walking alongside that this is your first Thanksgiving and your first Christmas and your first New Year's in your healthy body. I remember it happened to be Bianca's first Thanksgiving and Bianca's first Christmas. And she was a baby and it was just a little, and it was her first. And how much more I enjoyed that whole entire season and a healthy mind and a healthy body and my soul was alive and I felt so vibrant and alive and who doesn't want and need that? Today's Gabby's first birthday. It's gonna be her first holiday seasons and I'm still growing and I'm still glowing and I'm still bringing other people along and today I just am grateful of an accidental post that I made. That I had no idea how many people were out there praying for what I found. Literally praying for what I found. And my passion became my purpose because I know right now there are hundreds of people, thousands of you praying, praying, hoping, for a solution and I found it. And maybe everyone that finds this gift of health doesn't share the passion and that's okay. I found it and what I found, it's in the giving it away that's changed my life. It's in the giving it away. That's actually transforming me. Because I see the impact that this is bringing to other mamas, to other grandmothers and grandpas, young men, daddies, young mamas, my classmates, my friends, my family, and those who I don't even know. <laughs> the reach has gotten beyond even the people who I don't even know. And I'm getting to know. <laughs> and I can't tell you about a whole entire uh, school building <laughs> in upstate New York. <laughs> The joy has been in the journey. The joy has been in the giving it away. And so today, I'm thanking this girl who was trying to find a way to delete that post. Not gonna lie. I was so ashamed. I was ashamed that I even had to talk about weight loss. <laughs> That one post changed your life too because you've been, been impacted by my decision because of the woman I'm becoming. I hope today that you realize that you are one decision away from a completely different life. 
we get one life, one trip around this beautiful earth to be awakened to the fact that we get to make a difference in the lives of so many people by our circumstances, our very circumstances changes our life and the lives of the people we love. I honor you and thank you for staying the course with me, for celebrating me and encouraging me to keep growing. And I'm gonna keep growing because I know that there's yet people praying. And I'm gonna keep praying and coming alongside people till I can't do it anymore. Because you matter. Your life matters. Your health matters. to the people in your world. God bless you. Have a great Thursday. Thanks for sticking with me.